And today, well, I've got a spare hour or two. I don't know if you remember the mocart from a few videos ago. Well, I've got a pulley in the post, and uh, I'm going to see if I can get it fit. Uh, been out and bought this uh, taper lock type uh, pulley. Shoot up. Been out and bought this taper lock type pulley. Now, what that means is I can order the inside uh, shaft size as I want, and then I can get different size outers, and you put that in. Although, it's interesting that you kind of have to put it all on together. Anyway, uh, that with a, I've got a Woodruff key to go in there. And then you put your grub screws in and it locks it onto the thing. But what that means is, if this is too fast, if this is trying too hard, I can get a larger diameter outer without having to try and find an all-in-one unit that's half-inch shaft. And I think this is, what, 80 or 80 mil on the outside. I could get up to, I think, I think he said 110 um, on the outer pulley. So I've got options there. But for now... We will just try this for size. I don't know. I haven't yet tried it on the uh, on the shaft, just to see. But yeah, that's snug. Uh, so in theory, that should all just kind of fall into place. And the Woodruff key that I ordered off of <laughs> eBay which they sent a whole package just for that so i think i've measured it right at three mil if not no, it's probably a two mil but i can see that's a three mil keyway so what i can do what i am going to do i'll just grind a bit off the edge until it sits in there properly because I don't think that keyway and that keyway properly mesh up so that's what i'm going to do now yeah, so I just lost my wood rookie. Uh, I just tried to grind an edge off it, and it's that small. <laughs> I didn't have good enough grip on it, and it just went ping, and I've lost it. So uh, that was worth the postman coming to the house, wasn't it? Uh, I'm going to have a go at making my own. I've got a little bit of this, uh, looks like four mil, maybe like five by five mil uh, stick here. So I'm just going to kind of shape it down to the size I want, and... See if that'll work instead. I think with the taper lock, it should be pretty good. Okay, I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, because what's happening is, no matter how much I... Uh, that way, no matter how much I tighten these screws, these grub screws, and it's going flush like that. It's not, it's not catching on the shaft. And it, it, I've got it, it's tight. I've even been, it's even twisted the uh, Allen key I've been doing that tight. And the pulley just pulls off. It's completely flush on the shaft, like there's no wobble. The only thing I can think is there's some wear on the shaft. But I would have thought that would bite down enough to, you know, um, I would have thought that'd bite down enough to clamp on the shaft, so it doesn't. Anyway, I didn't set up for it being a long job. So I'm sat on the floor, bloody cold. I thought it'd be 10 minutes. Oh, put that on the thing and start tightening it up. It didn't. I'm half an hour, 45 minutes into it. And I've got a cold bum on the cobbles. So tomorrow, fresh day, I'm going to lift it in the air, the job lot, so I've got easy access and figure it out because, well, it's just not working out for me at the minute. Got a bit of better setup today. Josh is with us. He's over there talking to my mom. And uh, yeah, so got a bit of sun up on a pallet. Right, I'm just going to try this. Uh, couldn't quite get that to close the other day, so that's what we're going to try and do today. Well, you're at it now. What are you doing at it? I've done that pulley. That's your new belt? No, that's the original belt. Is it? Yeah, but because we've got a bigger oh, it's pulley on, slack out. it's hey, taking that extra job, little bit of slack out, which means they don't quite touch in the middle. Don't know what it's like for speed wise, like ratio wise, but I suppose running is better than. What's that? What's that? It's a bleed hole for your brakes. Is it? Because it's hydraulic brakes. But you bleed it. Why is it, is it loose? No, it's just a little rubber cap on it. Oh. A bit like a grease nipple, isn't it? Yeah, it's your bleed screw. I'm just trying to find the uh, hole for this. 
don't know exactly where it is. Oh, that roll peg. Yeah. Tapping him in. Oh. Let's see what I mean. He's he's lined up, but it's just not. Shall I run the drill through it? Might be better to clear it, mean. Can I get the drill in there? Suppose you can. Might be a take-off job. What's it doing? Is, is it like catching on? Bottom line. What's he like for grip? He's spinning. Yeah. He's going to shear him. That ain't going to work. Bugger. He's stuck in now. I think he's bent the bolt, hasn't he? Yeah, it wasn't going to work that one, was it? No. The bugger. I'd have knock him getting out or bending back. Yeah, yeah. Ah! You're right. Yeah. Pinch, that. pinch myself. Yeah, well, we've got to go out and get petrol anyway, so we may as well get a Big Mac then, eh? Still got them double checking ones on, no? I couldn't tell you. I haven't been for a while. Do we pinch your hair, don't they? Welding hats. Welding hats. Yeah, they do. Around your fringe. Yeah, back of my head then just got me. What gets me is when you're welding and then you get a, sp a spot on the top of your head and it feels like it's burnt hole in your head. Yeah. It gets dead itchy dead quick. It does. It? I often weld with a hoodie on and the hood up to stop it because it feels like it's. Yeah. Gone right through. That to there. That'll, that'll have enough hold on it, won't it, there? Yeah. But I, I would have thought that bolt would have held it, but... Yeah. It's just sheared it, hasn't it, straight away? Bloody head sheared it. Head <laughs> sheared it. Do you want me to have your camera on? Yeah, it's actually on now. Don't mind how you dirty hands, just don't touch the lens bit on the front. Oh. Don't drop it in the oil. <laughs> Painting. Well, I am a bullshit artist. <laughs> See what that's like on the lower power. Hey, he's gone in my boot. Has <laughs> it? <laughs> That'll do job, will it? What do you think? I can't tell, yeah. Yeah. Hang on. What? Can we put some round here as well? It's better just without the bolt and just weld the thing straight on. No, do you know what we've done? What? We've welded that plate and that's supposed to pivot, isn't it? Well, that pivots. Oh, that's all right. Never mind. Yeah, no. Yeah, we've done right then. Shall I put some round here? Can you flip him up the other way? Have him out the vice and do, do some on the top? Just yeah, so yeah. It's... I mean, you're probably having an overkill at this, aren't we? But Well, we thought that with the... Well, I suppose <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it'll have a bit of weight off your foot, won't it? Because your foot be slamming. You foot be slamming. <laughs> That's about. your blues guitarist name. And foot be slamming. <laughs> ah, lovely job. Lovely job, Lee. That'll do, won't it? I think so, yeah. That can't hurt it. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Yeah? That's it, isn't it? Job's a kipper. You know what a chewing gum has gone past it? Past it. Oh, man. Push it up on the flat. Yeah. Watch, don't get my hands in that.
spin in on shaft, isn't it? Not the key out. Yeah, it's not the key out. I have to make my own key. But, ah, bugger. Put it off one side of your bigger and then turn it. Do the spin. Yeah? Is it going? That's it. See, that's them um, grub screws are wound up tight at that. That doesn't look like it's even pinching, does it? Put it in and a spot of weld on top. It's only to stop it lifting up the spot of weld, isn't it? If it lifts up, the key falls out. If it stays down, the key stays in. That's it. Oh, you're just welding where your key goes, you mean? No, no. Keep the key as it is. Yeah. Uh, that way around. Like that. See how the key's biting now? Yeah. The key's in its place. But if I just, like, dribble some weld on there, enough to be able to cut off after if I need it off again. A bit more. There we go. See what I mean? Let's just have a look, so... Oh, he's a bit low there, it's a problem. Because the, the pulley, the belts can only go so far down. So probably flush, I think, flush with the top of there. Yeah, like what, just blob it. And just, like, two blobs there and there. Yeah. Yeah? I might even, before we do that, do I just put a little bit of a spot of weld on the key there? Just dink, so he doesn't fall yeah, out. So you, what holds your key to that shaft? Nothing. Nothing. He just slots in there and bites, is that the idea? That yeah, and then, should do. and then you tighten them up and it clamps everything together. Oh, but it's not doing. Gosh, you're right. I'm not I wonder if there's like a bit of, just enough wear in the... And shaft it's not or something. Up to it. Yeah, because that's fully wound up tight, they are. Yeah, I'd, I'm with I'd you. end up rounding them off if I go any more. Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't even look like it's closed much. I know it's not going to move much. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? Yeah. For the weld. So, uh, do you reckon I just stick the welder on the key first? So he's not going anywhere, just there. Think. Yeah? Uh, it won't foul it for going on, will it? You know no, if I mean? it, yeah, but if I do it at the bottom, it doesn't quite, where we want him, doesn't go all the way to the bottom, if that makes sense, of uh, the key. Yeah, I know what you mean. See, there's a bit of the key sticking yeah. out at the bottom. Or do I just leave it? Just weld the top. Your key can't come out if your pulley's welded, can it, right? Oh, I didn't think so, but it did just fling out just, but I, I think that's because it was loose and it's like come up. Do you know what I mean? Blob of weld on the top of there, done. <laughs> ah, it wants foot on clutch. Go put your foot on the clutch. <laughs> that was pretty good actually. 
I don't know why it conked, but... Yeah, how come it's conked? I don't know. I've got to use fuel already, I think. Lighted on, eh? That's dead, it's like sensitive. Sounds like no fuel, doesn't it? Might just be flooded, give it 10. Yeah. Must be just winding it. So I, I suppose it's got to be because it's tanked to here and it's, and then it's winding it through somehow. Yeah. Anyway. But I can figure out it's coming out. It's like it was siphoning straight from the tank, straight through the carburetor, straight, through straight the into the cylinder. So we've drained all the petrol out of there, just siphoned it all out so there's nothing in. Once it just, it's probably best just, <coughs> it's all just dry out, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, but, I don't know. Got me covered. It went well. I mean, it, it did well. Oh, did you have a go? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one who's had a go, yeah? And I've only got 30 yards. <laughs> Not winning any races, am I? But that pulley set up seems to be about right. I'm happy with that. It's like not too fast. Yeah. Every like the belt and everything seems right. I've had to weld the spot on the top because the the, um, the clamp wasn't clamping on that split pulley, that taper block pulley. But yeah. So you got a thing like me where you can't do with the plastic on oh, it. Oh, take, take it off. Take it off. Look how satisfying that is. <sighs> look at that. You got one round the rim and all, look. Yes. When people leave them on the phones or things like that, can't be on there. It looks rough, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that. It's shiny. Oh, I just thought it was blue. The air filter's grand, just the engines are knackered now. <laughs> <laughs> For sale. Air filter. It has a, tra it has a tractor attached to it. But... <laughs> yeah. Like gush petrol out of there. I don't know what I'll make of that. No. Let it all dry out. Because <clears throat> the last thing I want is a spark firing in a cylinder yeah. full of petrol. I don't know what. I probably wouldn't even work if there's no oxygen, but like. I don't know. You'd be a brave man putting that again. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's full again. Watch it cut. The exhaust pouring out. That's not right. So we've got spark plug off it, and probably might end up igniting it. But... No. What's the matter with that? That's not flooding. That's. Through. Going straight through. More? Well, we've emptied the tank, so it can only be what's in the bowl, right? It's going through like Ford Mustang. Yeah. Still got better MPGs out of this. Well, it was about £6.20 that petrol on the floor now. <laughs> it's just never ending. Even though. We have, in theory, emptied the tank. It's just be what's in the power yeah, the system. Getting more than one, isn't it? Anyway, do we call it good for the day? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Right. Let's call it good.